pass, that is indeed. Kramer picks the ball up, cuts inside. There's the pass, straight into the path. Fijani smashes it upfield. And Gambia tidying things up on the other side now. This is Mendy. Drops the ball on the outside of the penalty box, but that's a really good clearance. But the first touch was not good there on that far side by the man who is wearing the captain's armband tonight, Burima. Kujabi sends the ball down towards Bo Bojang. And Fajani covers his ground perfectly. Slotted in into that position very well, hasn't he, uh, Fajani? Of course, it was Mark Lamptey, six foot five, who was uh, keeping him out of that position. The Hanover centre back. Well, there is uh, Matun Boge. What a wonderful coach he is. the 2018 Wafu Fox Under-20 tournament title, first international assignment, hosted by Liberia. And the Young Scorpions, the only unbeaten team in the competition. First ever trophy at this uh, age level for Gambia. First uh, Gambian head coach to win an international trophy. And the youngest as well, at just 37, he's 40 now. Appreciated by everybody back home in Gambia, of course. Here's Snana. Snana to Shani. Might be a, I think it's a corner camera claiming that it came back off Shani. Not the case. Balls on deaf ears. Corner it is. Here's the 16 year old Snana. Here's the delivery by Cherney into the penalty box. That was a good, strong header. That was. That should have been driven in. That should have been smashed into the corner by Ben Cadet. Didn't he connect well with that corner? But he was unmarked. And it was an empty net, and that was the that was that's the issue. Tunisia should be ahead. We had one that was very similar uh, at the start of the first half with uh, for Gambia, of course. We are still waiting for the opening goal of this battle, and the ball picked up by Burima. They win the ball back. Gambia. Drama's got the ball. What options has he got? Lost the ball into the penalty box. The idea was quite interesting. Bojang was down there, but he was being tightly marked there by Ben Skada. And the 19-year-old club African player was watching that very closely indeed. going against Gambia on that occasion. Challenge. A bit burly. Digital platforms, total AFCON under 20. That's where you should be if you want to get involved in this competition. Wasted ball that was by Labidi. Here's Siani who will take this. Cherny. Goes down the line. Burima. Cisse. Getting the ball back to Fajani. Quick to uh, smash the ball up into enemy territory, not even thinking about where it's going. Good 
different game between Uganda and Ghana tomorrow, I can tell you that. When they clear the ball from, from their back lines, they'll be creating and moving forward and passing the ball out to their midfielders rather than just smashing it away to clear their lines. Nothing wrong with that from Jallo. It's a good ball down into the corner now. Be careful. Good running from Fafana. Ah, he's just uh, run out of space. That was uh, marshalled very well by Zadem. It's the ball up to his uh, teammate there. Labidi. Good skills from camera. Moves away. That's just ideal, isn't it? Now he's got plenty of space to go on a bit of a run down this left hand, right hand side. Nicely done. That's a good ball. Yeah, he just gets cropped at the last second. And a straight yellow there. Trying to disguise the fact that he uh, brought down camera. Very late challenge, wasn't it? Crashing into the right back the moment he was. Well, half a second after he got rid of it. Half a second, but a little bit less than that. Let's watch. Boom. It goes. There you go. That's uh, Zadem. What happens to him afterwards? Uh, looks a little bit shell shocked, doesn't he? The uh, Latvian based player. Fielder needs to get off the pitch for a second. And the free kick for the young Scorpions. Can they break the deadlock 10 minutes into the second half? If you touch penalty, you hear that? Ben Kader needs to watch out. Into the penalty area, it's not bad at all. Oh, there's a chance for a shot. And uh, damage, he didn't hold it. But the shot wasn't a great one. Directed at the goalkeeper, camera sending that in, look at Bojang, gets his shot in, smashes it at the chest of the Stade Rene goalkeeper. Still goalless here at the Stade Shake Old Boydia, and a free kick it is for the young Scorpions, another the foul hand on the back of the head of the referee that's not normally allowed you're not allowed to do that anyway. squares the ball to Ma the captain uses the pitch perfectly camera picks it up there that's nearly a good ball that goes into the penalty area smashed away by Fajani Tidied up in the midfield. Nice little touch. Oh, trying to go for the one-two. Just held back, uh, Marjorie. That's uh, the hand grip will be spotted. Amri penalised. Nicely worked for Fana. A quiet game today for Fana. Kind of isolated down that left hand side. And uh, well, there's a change. Abidi comes on and he will come on to replace Nana. 16 year old finding it a little bit tough out there. We'll probably see him for the under 17 under 17's competition, of course, in uh, in Morocco. And there's a BD coming on. Oh, that was very close and good opportunity that was for Gambia. As uh, you can see, Jallo should have been there, should have been landed in the penalty box. Lurk, he should have got on the end of it big time. 
And Shani wasn't anywhere near him. That was a free header. Covering by Cisse. And the ball sent up field. the other side Langled header not a pretty one is it he does really well this is uh was great football that was from Abidi the club African substitute just come on you gotta chase it you gotta chase everything There's something you can tell the youngsters out there everything's worth chasing Corner it is for Tunisia. 60 minute mark, Labidi, the club African player, will try and find it. one of his teammates in the box. Labidi's corner, there it is. Oh, it's a good challenge there coming up there from Ben Lamine. Passing with the goalkeeper, Saidi, it's going to be a goal kick. Recomposed centre back, Ben Lamine. This is football in Sweden for AIK. Coming up strongly, claiming the corner. The case. Gambia pushing forward, ball comes out to Jallo. It's a good ball over to the left hand side, well, the touch wasn't good, giving it to Fajani. Ma. Jawara, the clearance by Labidi, gets the ball over to Mendy. It's a foul committed by Ben Lamine, it will be another free kick over on that far side for the young Scorpions, who will once again try and potentially send the long ball into the penalty box once again no, no. put pressure on the uh, damage either Tunisian goalkeeper camera is far out wide Jallo there he is it's a nice one too. He just couldn't keep the ball at his feet. On the field by Zadem. Good ball to Abidi. Abidi crashes with the defender. And uh, it's uh, Jawara who picks up the yellow card. Crashes down to the ground. But first of all, let's uh, just see what he was doing there. Let me Jawara. He's a little conniving, cunning forward who it's that, it's that left arm of his that sort of wrapped itself around his neck that made it look a little bit suspicious. Uh, good call from Mr. Al Fasau. And a free kick for Tunisia. Garda down the left side, standing on it with uh, Burima. Oh! Garda logically, the 19 year old will just uh, drop the ball on the edge of the six yard box to put themselves in an onside position. Uh, he's going to run back on side, don't worry. I think he knows what he's doing, but uh, referee's all over that. Fijani, there we go, the delivery. Oh, it takes a deflection, taken well by Saidi. It's gone too far, it's going to be a throw in. A throw in for Tunisia. Come on, 
And that's a free kick. Oh, he needs to be careful. Cisse picks up a yellow card now. That's two yellows in the space of a minute for the two centre-backs. Both on a beat, he was drawing the fouls, which doesn't fare well for... Oh, crikey. I think he got a boot in the head there, didn't he? No, no not in the head. Have to be careful. Don't want to lose one of your centre-backs. You can see that Mata and Boogie is watching on. Uh, it was the handball offence, that's why they get the ball. Um, that was the first offence. Ozang this time. Crashing into Ben Kader. Three fouls in three minutes. This is not looking good for Gambia, if they're, they're disciplined. There you go, just smashing into the right back. Yeah, but Mr. Um, Alpha Sau, not just asking him to uh, leave the pitch, but now he'll tell him to just uh, vacate the premises as such. Uh, to allow them to get the ball rolling once again. There's Mark Lamptey at the back. And Ayari the other player who's been dropped as well. Lamptey uh, responsible for not dealing with uh, Basangwa of uh, Uganda in that semi-final. A couple of little errors there. Free kick for Gambia. Young Scorpions pushing themselves up into a dangerous territory. This is nicely done. But Fajani, very slick at the back. This is better. Long range effort, feeble effort. A rare shot from Gambia in this match for the third place on the podium. Coming from the captain, Ma. Didn't get any power behind it. We're halfway through the second half. And we're desperate for goals now, hungry for goals. We need goals. A goal would trigger a reaction from the, from the opponents. And Abidi could draw a foul. Things uh, can work in their favor. This is a good opportunity. Cheney's coming in for it. There's a chance, there anybody there? Oh, Amory's just left the ball behind. Now it's good for Gambia to push forward. Can they get themselves into a good attacking position? That's a really nice bit of running, that is, from uh, Jalo. Wins the free kick as well. Uh, just the way that he got in front of Amri was absolutely ideal. Uh, the Gambia, of course, want him to be... Uh, ...yellow carded. The reason why is the Zadem. He's already got a yellow card, of course, and he would uh, get sent off with a second yellow. Very lucky indeed. Bit of shirt pulling, holding him back. Yeah, I can understand the frustration of uh, these youngsters, these Gambian youngsters. Well, the way that they can get underneath the skin of these Tunisians is by... Uh, Rattling the crossbar and having the ball hit the back of the net. 
that the Tunisian defence has been pretty well organised, to be honest with you, for the 68 minutes that we've seen played here in Nouak shots already. What can they do here? Kammer is the man. WAA Banjul player. Here is the free kick. Camera, camera. Not a fantastic free kick, was it? Abidi, there's a push from Abidi. And it's a free kick for Jawara. He didn't get lured into the trap on that occasion. Here's Jawara again. The ball out wide, Mendy. Ben Kader. Taken quickly. There's a little foul there by Ben Lamine. Just a clip of the ankle from behind. That's all it took. Nicely done, that's very composed play. Here's Mark. Strong header there coming in from that man, Burima once again. Sorry, it's Cherny. On a free kick. Going against Jallo. There's Burima, the Esperance man. First challenge on Amri which counted for the referee. Strong defensive header there from Cissé. Uh, Amri again. Sixty forty, the percent of possession. 38 attacks to 41 for Tunisia. And the Tunisian players getting ready to come on. I think Labini might see himself come off. This is great play. That was a good bit of poaching. A good clearance from Cissé. Doing the business at the back. That's what you need. Might see Labidi come off. And Cherny. It's a very good ball out to the right hand side. Does well to get past his man, Jallo. Oh, he's just been pushed off the ball by Amri. That's really good uh, play, that is, in fact. It's another free kick. And who is this for? Camera? No, it's drama. Such a late challenge. That's the frustration. Look at this. Oh. What on earth was he doing? Mana comes on. And off comes Jawara. The real Banjo player, another 19 year old. Really got excited in this game uh, in terms of the the scoring opportunities. It's been one of those games that's been foretell in the midfield and then a sp spineless attack basically, lacking those scoring opportunities because the defence are just uh, very solid. Is Cherny? Cherny gets the ball back. There's an opportunity here, but it's cleared once again. That has really been the story of this encounter. Ben Kader unable to do anything with that. It's Fafana tries to get the ball. It's been picked up here by Drama. Drama cuts inside. Good skills from him. 
He lost the ball over. It's just not close enough to one of his teammates, Bojang being one of them. And it's been picked up here by Kujabi. Mendy. Drama. Is Fafana. Fafana is going to surely go for a shot. We haven't seen him even. It's a big battle between the two players there. Finally picked up by Camera. Barami does well. Uh, Barima does well, sorry. And Ben Scada with the clearance. Lovely touch by Abidi. Abidi on a bit of a battle here. Well, play on, says the referee, Manny. Getting the better of that uh, wily front man on that occasion. This is good running, this is. He's going to pick up a free kick. No, <laughs> the referee said carry on. End to end action, the way that we love it, until Ben Cardo gets clipped from behind by Fofana. Jarby back up on his feet. Camera with a good head of that. Skills, very ni nicely done by Drama. He does so well there, doesn't he? Skill set, top notch. It's a player outside. Jallo's got it there. Is he going to cut inside and try and go for goal? This Fafana, Fafana. Oh, there's the push in the neck and. And who gets, oh, it's the captain who gets the yellow card for complaining, in fact. Play Berima. Of Esperance. Yeah, that's uh, cheeky, isn't it? We've seen a lot of that tonight. Here he is, the captain, the Esperance, 19 year olds. Nicely picked up, Cherny, can he get a shot in, pulls the ball back. I don't know about the pulling of the ball back all the time. You've, you've really got to unleash the monster rocket shot and test those goalkeepers. Come on. Beautiful ball to split the defence. Pulls the ball back where there were just too many Gambian defenders. You're not going to pick out your main man there, are you? Smashing the ball at field. Ball goes back to the goalkeeper, Saidi. Now, my question is, will they bring on Labidi, the goalkeeper, to uh, to replace Damir G if they go to penalties, like they did against Morocco? Hey, that worked well. They won 4-1 on penalties, beating their North African rivals. Fafana picks it up. Nice pass. Oh, he's cut inside. Can he get the ball back to his teammate? There's the shot, surely. Oh, crikey. Just haven't got that much space to, to do anything, but you've still got to control it. That's a good turn from Mark. Wins the free kick. And a substitution, as you can... Yeah, Barry will come on. Oh, wait there a sec. Oh, yeah, it's uh, drama goes off. 
And on comes Barry. And Fafana going off. And uh, Jallo's coming on. Well, you've got to make changes, haven't you? And uh, it's just the only way that you will uh, get yourself the right results. It's been complicated. Mamadou Salia Jallo coming on for Kajali Dramu. Ali Berry coming on for Fafana. He's the Elite United 18 year old. And uh, the Jallo of MK Dons, of course, uh, in England, the 17 year old. If he can uh, do something out there tonight. Free kick. Mendy commits the foul. 11 minutes to go. Tunisia moving forward. That was uh, could have been so good, but uh, finally you get have the ball stolen from your feet. And then it all becomes quite embarrassing. It's going to be a throw in for uh, Tunisia, surely. No, it is not. There's a chance. Oh, the goalkeeper comes out damaging. And you can just see that he's putting pressure on him already, Barry. But uh, a little bit of a clash there. And they both go down. And he's in quite some pain, isn't he, the Elite United player? Just look at this. Pulls awkwardly with a leg up in the air. Damagey underneath. Now, of course, this doesn't fare well if we're going to go to penalties with Damagey down on the ground, but uh, we're expected to change probably just before the penalty shootout, as we saw before against Morocco in the quarterfinals. There he is. <laughs> I told you he'd be lurking around, waiting to come on. He's already walk, wa warming up, Ahmed Labidi. He uh, was 100% in the penalty shootout, so I'm sure that he'll get his chance to come back on for a second outing, having not played for a, a single minute in the outfield game. One of those strange scenarios, right? Seems to be okay there. Goalkeeper here based in Brittany for Liga inside Stade Rene. There he is, Elias Damergi. Ayari's coming on, and off goes Berima, the Sheffield United man. Scored a goal against uh, Namibia. In the group stage, interesting player, wily little uh, dangerous forward. Time's running out, eight minutes uh, for one of these two teams to score. Will it be Gambia or will it be Tunisia? Control just letting him down, picked up here. Work from Amri. And that's gone. Over the head of camera, throwing it is for Tunisia. They look the more dangerous team on attack. There's no danger, no doubt about that. They put themselves in many more dangerous attacking positions than their opponents. Oh, 
Ayari Ayari tries to get the ball back to Abidi, but it's just a little bit lacklustre. Oh, you can't do that. That's just silly. Labidi wins the free kick. There's a chance here. Amri tries to cut inside. Loses possession. Good touch. And uh, foul committed there by Zadem, who knows that he's already in the referee's books. And uh, Kujabi's down on the ground. Foot came up. Who's going to win that? I think it's going to be for Tunisia, logically. Yeah, it's uh, the Team Rhino midfield, yeah. Who's receiving a bit of treatment, of course. A bit naughty, isn't it, from Zadem, the Latvian-based midfielder. Knows that he's not going to get hold of the ball. Taken quickly. Camera. Change of flanks. Nicely done. There's Mendy over on the other side. Delivery into the penalty box. Met by Ben Skada. Into the last five minutes we go. Here for this total cap under 20 Africa Cup of Nations. Match for the third place. Gambia nil, Tunisia nil. Penalties are looming. Penalties, 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 unless we get a goal. Final tomorrow night. Kick off at the same time. It's going to be a free kick. Jallo knocked to the ground. And a silly moment there. Labidi just uh, getting in the way. Silly to concede a goal now. Nicely done by Camera. Can he get a decent delivery? And there it is. Whoa, it's a finely struck cross if it was a cross. Taken easily by Damaji. But the way that he took out the left back was sublime. Beautifully done. A good chance there. Goalkeeper. Picks the ball inside of his own penalty area. Well, will he come on? That's the question. He's getting prepared, isn't he? Oh, that's a very strong challenge. Lapidi gets a yellow card for that as well. Very late. Taking out uh, camera. Now the free kick. You can see Labidi, the goalkeeper, is going to come on. I told you it's going to happen. Bring on the fresh legs. It's not as hot as it has been for some of the other games, but uh, is the is a chance? A chance? Can he get a shot in? It's at the far post. It's gone over. It's gone over. And you just saw that that was one of the chances that they could have exploited. Kujabi was there. The header came through. Took a deflection. Decided not to go for a shot. Yes, he had a player with Barry at the far post, but come on, guys, be a little bit more innovative. 
if you haven't really laid on the pressure and put loads of shots on the Tunisian goalkeeper, now could be a good time to do it. Just saying. Ball picks up, waiting for a little bit of support. Every Tunisian player back behind the ball, of course. Labizi, it's been a real wily thorn in their side at the back here. Tunisia with a chance to, oh, it's touched the referee. That's taking a deflection. And the goalkeeper has that in his hands. It came to touch the goalkeeper, uh, the, the referee. So normally we'd have to give the ball back to Tunisia, but decided that it's okay to play on. Ball rolled out to Cisse. Down to camera again. Ayari watching his every move. Nicely done. Ah, you can't get past everyone. Zadem picks the ball up in the midfield. Waits for some support. Minute to go in normal time. We'll see the goalkeeper come on in a minute, I'm sure. Nicely played, Labidi. Oh, running into all sorts of trouble. He's still got the ball, how on earth is that possible? Into the penalty area. Well committed. Been very busy, isn't he? Uh, in the since he came on to replace Nana, the youngster, in the second half. Perseverance, good perseverance from the club African forward Labidi. Great challenge there from Mendy as well, winning the free kick. A minute about a time, maybe two. Now, what's this all about? Ben Kader, two minutes of added time. And a substitution's coming. I bet you know who's gonna who's gonna be uh, coming off. There you go, he's coming on. Ahmed Labidi, the goalkeeper of Club African. They're ready for penalties. Is the youngster, the 18 year old Stad Rennie goalkeeper. Must be quite frustrating for him to go off and watch a goalkeeper come on and take over the duty for the penalty shootout, having played the 90 minutes. And a change for Gambia as well. Kajabi goes off. Sissé goes off as well. Ante comes on. And G as well. Centre back. Played the first game. There's a down Kante coming on for Pujabi. He's made their change. Two minutes are up. Last chance for a shot on goal. It's the final whistle. We are going to penalties. This will be resolved with a penalty shootout. Gambia and Tunisia have played out a goalless draw. This match for the third place in the total cup and the 20 Africa nations here in Mauritania. So we will go to penalties. Who is destined to get a penalty? I don't know why, but it's one of those games. Uh, there you can see France scoring. Goalless here. It's that shake all of the idea in trying to shut the count to Mauritania. Uh, what a break, of course, for these guys. Uh, this is where fantasy becomes reality. And imagination has no limits.
where courage and hard work pays off. Where every team has a true winning chance. The competition where everything is possible. Three times. The Copa Sudamericana. The road to the great conquest. Only on being sports. One of the most popular basketball events on the planet. Featuring the best clubs from Europe facing off each other in a spectacular world-class tournament. This is the Basketball Champions League Playoffs, Season 2020-2021, every Tuesday and Wednesday.